So reservists for the Israeli Defense Forces are headed back home to fight in the war against Hamas, some of them living right here in Southern California. Fox 11's Gina Silva was at LAX when they left today, and she joined us now live from Westchester with more now. I can imagine how emotional that goodbye was, Gina. Yes, those goodbyes are always very emotional. The Israeli military has summoned more than 360,000 reservists. And as you said, it, some of those soldiers are here in Southern California. We caught up with one man who is headed for his homeland. Singing the nation of Israel lives on. The family of Avi Landisman of West L.A. say their goodbye. Take care of Avi has a one-way ticket to Israel. He's a reservist with the IDF. Israel Defense Forces. This is my opportunity to, to make sure that my kids, my family, my mom, my siblings that live out there have a safe home to be in. For Avi, watching those horrifying images of people murdered and kidnapped was gut-wrenching and felt like a stab in the heart. That's why he and thousands of reservists all over the world are headed to Israel to fight a war against Hamas. There is no option to stay home while our actual home is being terrorized, literally terrorized. I was very emotional about it, um, but I am very, very proud of what he's doing and why he's going. He's determined to protect our homeland. We're all so proud of him, what he's doing for our, for our nation, for our country, for our people, for the world. Israel is, uh, is America's number one ally in the Middle East. That's a huge thing for the whole world. Um, and people like my brother-in-law, Avi, who are going out there and uh, leaving their families at a time like this is extremely brave, and we're all so proud of him. Avi is leaving his catering business, his wife, his two small children, and large extended family and friends. Are you afraid for your life? Yes, but it's something, you know, it's, it's the reality of war. Unfortunately, we're, we're headed to war. Um, but we've got God, we've got an army and people there and here who are supporting us. Praying and hoping that every day he'll be safe, going to and from base, and that he'll be safe on base, and that he'll, he'll come back soon and safely. I will come home. We certainly wish Avi the best. He told us that he will be arriving at 4 p.m. on Friday. And he also explained to us that the reservists who are outside of Israel, all over the world, they are not forced to go back. They are volunteers, and they're doing it gladly. Alex, Marla. Gina, we know that in Israel, all the young people are required to serve. It's a big part of the culture there. Um, what was it, though, that made him feel so compelled that he had to do this as a volunteer? Absolutely, and he's not the only one. There were several other people that were heading out today. There were also some private jets that were heading in that direction. People just feel compelled. They said they felt hopeless and just helpless, not being able to do anything, watching those images come in and knowing that their families, their friends who are still in Israel, couldn't do anything about it. They were in the military. They know how to defend their country, and they're going back to do that. Well, he's expecting to land, uh, as you said, at 4 p.m., which is uh, less than 12 hours from now. Our, our thoughts and prayers with Avi and his family and all the reservists who are heading abroad. Gina, thanks so much.